Already facing disruptions in the country's airspace system because of a lightning strike, the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority is now battling industrial action. This as aviation inspectors are reportedly restive. In fact, some didn't show up for work today. But officials from the JCAA maintain that its operations will not be affected even as it moves to restore full service in air traffic, of air traffic, in and out of the country. TVJ's Janella Pursues reports. It was a press conference called to, according to Transport Minister Mike Henry, clarify inaccuracies about the current state of affairs at the JCAA. So, a day after officials from the organization faced the press at the Jamaica House press briefing, they were back before the media. Wednesday, they said there would be a full reopening of Jamaica's airspace by the end of Wednesday into Thursday. Thursday, we're told that it won't be for another 48 hours. We are going to restore within the next 40 hour, 48 hours. Full schedule of flights supposed to be able to come in and leave. So we should not have, hopefully, any major cancellations or serious delays. But all of, this, all of the necessary equipment and processes and staff will not be fully on board because we're in a process on for another probably week or two. Transport Minister Mike Henry reiterated that the new air traffic control system is in the final phase of implementation. The backup system will be housed in three separate locations. New air traffic control towers will also be constructed. The NMI tower is now complete and we'll have in it a total backup system for the ATC center. The Sangster International Airport tower will be completed by the end of this year and we'll also have backup system for the Kingston Center. The Kingston Center will also have a complete backup system at Winchester Road, and this will be for the first time. This project will be completed at a cost of 3.5 billion Jamaican dollars. But even as the JCAA moves to improve its systems, again, the authority is facing possible industrial action. Some aviation inspectors who provide safety and security oversight for the industry called in sick Thursday. The president of the Jamaica Aviation Inspectors Association, Gary Carr, told our news center that members have not received an increase in salary since 2009. The question was put to the JCAA chairman. Yes, we're aware of it and the matter has been referred to the Ministry of Labor, so they'll be dealing with that. It, it's not impacting our air traffic control operations. As for whether the other staff are restive? Not that we're aware of. Not the air traffic controllers are not restive as far as I'm concerned. Janela Press News, TVJ News.